everybody welcome back to my channel so today I am filming my makeup collection organization declutter I've been intending to do this for quite some time finally getting around to it today although it almost didn't happen because I woke up with a migraine just got to film it otherwise I will be behind schedule so I guess I will start off by showing you my vanity this is my vanity I've had it for about a year I got it from my house up here on the central coast it was actually sold as a hall console yeah I use it as a vanity I love it my whole entire makeup collection lives in these two drawers here. On top of my vanity I have a few little trinkets. This cup is from Billabong. It's got gold little palm trees all over it. It's quite adorable. I got it from Byron Bay. This is a wooden fan that I got from Bali. I use this every morning to quick dry my face while I'm doing my makeup. These pastel colored pens are just from Kmart. These books, so this one's a dream book and this one's a 365 day yearbook. Both are from Kiki Kit. Kiki K and both were gifts. This little notebook here is from Thailand. It's quite pretty. This little plant, fake plant, is from Kmart. This is the mirror I use every morning when I'm getting ready. Ideally, I want a round, tall one. This is quite short. It's good for when I'm filming because it doesn't get caught on film, but I would like a much taller one if I can find one but this one's just from TK Maxx over here I have my makeup brushes in this old candle jar it was a tiger lily candle with a beautiful gold palm tree on the front so once the candle was all gone I washed it out and put my makeup brushes in there and these two glass jars are from sports girl in one I keep my lip pencils and in the other I keep my eye pencils now to store my makeup I purchased these draw tidies from Kmart they're bamboo ones which I think are much nicer than the ones I've got currently in my drawers the plastic ones or even nicer than the acrylic ones. I just think they're very natural and modern and fresh and I wasn't sure what sizes to get so I got a few different sizes and we'll work it out as I go through the makeup and see what I need. This is a long one, this is a smaller rectangular one, these are little ones but I think just by looking at it I think I'm gonna go for eight of these four in each drawer before we get into the makeup I just want to give you a little background on my makeup philosophy so when I moved up here on the Central Coast I did a declutter of my makeup got rid of so much I gave a lot of it away to family and friends most of it was very bougie before I had my kid I would only buy from Maya very high-end makeup. Sephora wasn't around then. After I had my son, I just lost my interest in makeup and got very minimal in my makeup, especially as I started to age, get older. I think less is more. I'm 47 now. I'm just not into makeup like I used to be in my 20s and even 30s. I would say that the bulk of my makeup collection now accumulated in the last year. I buy a lot of makeup to research for my videos, to recommend for you guys, to do some tutorials. You know, I don't think that you guys are here for the makeup content. Although makeup and tutorials are a small portion of my channel, it's not really what my channel is about. I'm more about styling and lifestyle and travel and self-care, but I do love a little bit of makeup and it's always been something I've enjoyed playing with. So let me show you my makeup collection. Had I known that I was going to start my own YouTube channel, I probably would have held on to all that makeup. But anyway, this is what we have to work with today. Here I have some face products. We have some highlighters, some bronzers and blushes. Here I have my foundations. Over here we have some highlighters and concealers. And over on this side, I have some singular eyeshadows, mascaras and brow products, and then some glossy lip products, and then some matte lip products over here. I guess I'll just pull out trays one by one and just 
work through them this way. It's gotten real dark outside, so I've turned on my ring light. I think it just is easier for me to show you guys the products. This way you get a close up bird's eye view. First up, I have my Strobe of Genius highlighting palette. This is a gorgeous drugstore highlighting palette. The shades in here are just beautiful. They're so buttery and soft. I use this a lot. I love that one. This is the Maybelline Master Blush Palette, another gorgeous palette that I love, especially for this blush here and this highlighter. They're my two favorite shades. These two are very pigmented, so I don't really use those two colors all that much, but definitely keeping that. This is the Becca Sun Chaser Palette. I gotta say, this bronzer here is too warm for my liking. It's a bit on the orange side, so I don't really use that. Not even when I'm really tan in the summer do I really like this on me. I do love this blush, however you need very little. Again, very pigmented. And this is their highlighter in opal, their beautiful shimmering powder. A cult classic, oldie but goodie. So I gotta keep that palette. This is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I have the darkest shade. It's a stunning bronzer and smells so good. I love it. This is a highlighter by e.l.f. in Moonlight Pearls. So affordable. You just got to scrape off the top layer to get to the beautiful shimmers. It's a great highlight. Milani Blush in Illuminoso. What a classic. This has been a YouTube favorite for ages. Love it. It's a gorgeous color. This is a beautiful coral cream blush by Rimmel. I absolutely love that as well. This is an essence blush, another gorgeous color. Peach me up. I really love peachy blushes. I think they're so flattering. This is my NARS Orgasm Blush. Another cult favorite. Been around for years. Such a beautiful blush. This is a powder and shouldn't be in there. I'll put that over there for now. This is a bronzing highlighting duo palette from Elizabeth Arden. I've had this for so long. Powders keep for a very long time, but I really don't reach for this, so I might give this one to my mum. This is my beloved NARS Laguna bronzer, my favorite bronzer of all time. This is a highlighting brick in Rose Glow by Revlon. I don't use this as a highlight. I use this as blush and it's just so beautiful on the cheeks. I love it, it's so pretty. I really think pink blushes, really soft pink blushes are the most flattering universal tone for the cheeks. This is a highlighter by e.l.f. in the shade Glow. I actually don't use this as a highlight, but I use it on my eyes just as a one wash of color, very subtle, shimmery eye, and it's really, really pretty. So I may put that in with my eye makeup. I'll just put that aside for now. This is another bronzer by Models Own. It's the Sculpt and Glow, and I'm pretty sure it's a cream to powder bronzer. It definitely has a glow to it and it's a really nice formula. I really like this one. This is a Rimmel bronzer. I think this is a great drugstore bronzer but it is a little light for my skin so I may pass this one on. This is my e.l.f. Saint Lucia bronzer and this is, I'm not sure if this is a highlight or a blush but I use it as a blush. I'm pretty sure it's a blush actually. It's a gorgeous nude color. I've only just started using it. I was afraid in the beginning that it was too shimmery and light but it's actually quite beautiful and the two blend out like a dream. This is cheap as chips. Elf is such a great makeup line that is just dirt cheap. I think this palette is like eight dollars. Just ridiculous. And this bronzer is probably my favorite drugstore bronzer of all time. This one and the Physician's Formula. This one is the Bourjois Maxi Delight bronzer. I have it in the darkest shade as well. You get quite a lot of product in this and it is a really beautiful bronzer. I'm gonna hold on to that one. This is such a fantastic highlight from Maybelline, the Master Chrome. It's in molten gold. It's just stunning. It is so beautiful. Just an amazing highlight from the drugstore and so buttery. I mean, look at that. It's just so intense. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I love that one. This is the Maybelline Dream Sun bronzer. Again, a great affordable bronzer from the drugstore, but way too light for my skin. So I'm going to pass this one on. This is the brush that came with the Elizabeth Arden bronzer. This was a travel size Laguna bronzer and 
NARS Orgasm Blush. I've run out of the bronzer, but the blush is still going strong, so I will hold on to that for when I travel. These are my Becca Beach tints. I have the shade Watermelon, and I have this shade, which is in a peachy color. The name's worn off, so I don't really know the correct name. These two are just gorgeous products. They work well on the eyelids and the cheeks and the lips, and just a very unique formula. I love these products. They're great for traveling, so I'll hold on to them. And this is an all but wasted watermelon, so I can get rid of that. I'm just gonna put the things that I'm getting rid of in here for now. I've just put my bronzers and over in this one I've just put the few palettes, my blushes and the highlighters. So I'll put those aside for now. In this container I have my concealers, some liquid, illuminators, things of that nature. This is a great little palette by Rimmel. It's quite universal. I think it would suit most skin tones. It's just really great for those of us who aren't very confident when applying makeup. It's very soft, not very pigmented. I like wearing this when I'm not wearing any foundation and just I spot conceal and then add a little bit of this blush, a little bit of this bronzer to warm up my skin, a very natural looking highlight. It's a great little palette. I love that and I will put that in with the other palettes. This is a Becca contouring highlight palette. I don't really use it all that much. I'm not really into contouring but it is a great shade on me. This highlight is just so smooth and melts in the skin. It's absolutely gorgeous in the opal shade. This is the NYX Born to Go Liquid Illuminate. I love this. It's great on the high points of the cheeks. It's quite gold, so it suits mostly warm tones, but I really love that product. This is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. My favorite concealer. This stuff is just amazing. These are the Master Strobing Sticks by Maybelline. I have the shade 100 and the shade 200. They're both beautiful shades. 100 is more of a pinky shade, a pinky highlight. 200 is more gold. They're both absolutely gorgeous. I actually think I prefer the pink one, which is surprising since I'm very olive skinned, but they are great little um, balmy highlighters, very emollient. I just love these, they're gorgeous. What's this, an old concealer stick by, I don't know, some brand. This is so old, it needs to be thrown out. This is a NYX blush in the shade Taupe. I got this as a contour, so it does work as a contour when I can be bothered contouring my skin. I will hold on to that though, it's a great, a great shade. Another great concealer is the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's awesome. This is just a great drugstore concealer. I highly recommend. I have the shade Medium. I also love the Fit Me concealers. I have the shade 20 and 25. I've almost run out, but they're just great concealers also. I think these are dupes for the NARS Radiant Cream Concealers. This is my L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. I love mixing this in with my foundation. I have the darkest shade, I think, Deep Glow. I absolutely love this product, it's awesome. The YSL Touche Eclat. At one stage, this was all I used as concealer. My skin was much more youthful then. Not now, I need more heavy duty concealers than this. But this is a beautiful concealer to wear when you're not wearing any foundation and you just want something to, you know, bring some light to your face and cover up a little bit of imperfections. It's just beautiful. This is the Estee Lauder Day Wear Tinted Moisturizer that I used while I was overseas this year. This is a great product. However, it's been discontinued and I think it's almost out. Oh, there might be a couple of uses left. I think I'll hold on to it till I use it all up because it is beautiful. This is the Becca Shadow and Light Contour Mousse. This is an amazing product. 
the mousse for the brows is too light for me, so I don't really use this, but this for the under eye is amazing. It's a very unusual formula. It's quite sticky, but then dries down. It just gets rid of any darkness, purple veins, any discoloration, just brings so much light under the eyes. It's just an amazing miracle product. And then I go on with my concealer over this. So this is underneath, brightens up that whole under eye area. It's just amazing. I love that product. This is a travel size Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in their classic shade Opal. So I love mixing that in with my foundation all over my face. This is the Maybelline Strobing Liquid in 100. This is the lighter shade. I'm not really a fan of this one. I think it's way too light for my skin. I much prefer it in the stick formula. I think it's a different shade altogether. I sort of feel like the Tin Man with this. So I'm gonna give this one away. And lastly, this is a travel size concealer by Kat Von D. This shade is way too light for me, absolutely way too light, so I'm going to give that one away too. So that's what this little container is looking like with my liquid highlighters and my concealers. So now we can move on to my foundations. This is my Aveeno Daily Moisturizer. I wear this every day when my foundation doesn't contain SPF. Well, every day if I'm not wearing foundation 100%. This is my favorite BB cream. It's the Maybelline Dream Satin BB Cream. This shade is in light medium and I do have in here medium deep. This shade is too light for me, so I'm gonna pass this one on to my mum and keep the medium deep for me. This is the L'Oreal Nude Magic CC Cream with SPF 20. I used to love this product. I used to wear it all the time. It just neutralizes to your skin tone, to suit your skin tone, but I don't reach this anymore and it's probably expired 12 months. I've had it longer for 12 months, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Bean Team Bronze Hydrate and Glow by the Estee Edit. This product has been discontinued, but I found this overseas last year. So you have the liquid illuminator and then you have the cream illuminator in the cap. It's a beautiful product. I wish they didn't discontinue this range. I love it. So I'll put that in with my liquid illuminators. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation, the foundation I've been loving and wearing lately. It is a beautiful coverage and I have the shade Macadamia. This foundation by BYS Pure Silk Serum Foundation is so cheap. I think it cost me $3 and it is so amazing. It's a buildable coverage. It can be quite full coverage if that's what you like. It has a beautiful satin finish. It has this dropper applicator it's just amazing. This is a gorgeous foundation also by Maybelline. It's the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It's just beautiful coverage, not too matte. It's just a great foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, another fantastic foundation that contains SPF. I really prefer foundations with SPF. The Fit Me and the Revlon don't, but they're great nonetheless. This is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser by Maybelline. I haven't used this product all that much, so I can't really recommend it or diss it, but I think I need to use it a bit more. I don't know if it really made a difference to my pores, so I need to use this more and, and get back to you on that one. This is the Fit Me Powder in shade 225, and I also have 220, and these are just great powders to set your makeup, which I hardly ever do, but if I'm going to, I love the Fit Me powders. They're just amazing drugstore powders. This is my Chanel Vita Lumiere, I can't say it, Satin Smooth Cream Makeup. It contains SPF 15. I've almost run out of this. It is a beautiful foundation, absolutely gorgeous finish, skin-like finish, great coverage. It's just beautiful. That was just a little sample from Sephora, a little mirror, and this is my Real Techniques Beauty Blender. So that's my foundation container done and dusted onto eyeshadows now. 
So in this container, I have my eyeshadows, as I mentioned, not really big on eyeshadows. I normally put bronzer on my eyelids with a little bit of highlight in the center of the lid. And that's basically it. That's, that's the look I love. And I do love my Maybelline color tattoos all over the lid as well. Nonetheless, I have this. What's this? It's an Estee Lauder 2-in-1 eyeshadow wet to dry formula. This looks very old. I've held on to this. I don't know why must be for some reason I have used it I can see that they are beautiful shades beautiful cool tone shades I think I'm gonna hold on to it they blend out really well if I remember correctly and I don't really have any of these shades another Estee Lauder palette this was a travel size it was given to me with I don't know at the airport I purchased some makeup and this was like a freebie I think this is just a cute little palette again in cool tones I'm gonna hold on to it I think it's really cute this is is an eyeshadow quad by Chanel which I've already hit pan on one color this was a gorgeous champagne color it was absolutely stunning on the lid but I still have some of this rose gold and this bronzy shade and this green there's still a lot there Chanel eyeshadows are stunning so I'm definitely gonna keep that one this palette from the drugstore, it's e.l.f. again about like, God, what was it? Six or eight dollars. So affordable yet so good. These colors are absolutely gorgeous. You can definitely get a complete eye look. It's just gorgeous and the formula blends out beautifully. There is a little bit of fallout, but nothing to worry about. A fantastic little quad that is just so cheap. Awesome. This is the Rimmel Magnifies Spice Palette. All the colors in here are very warm and gorgeous, really easy to blend out, very pigmented, and just a really nice shade range. Just beautiful warm palette. Really, really good from the drugstore. Love that one. This is my Sashido Oradu in Solar. This is just stunning on the eyelid. I absolutely love this. This was $38, so worth it. It's just the most beautiful shimmer. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's just so, 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 so stunning. It's so subtle, but so impactful. It's just beautiful. So I love that one. These are my Becca eye tints. These are gorgeous. I've had them for a while, but they're absolutely gorgeous, especially this bronzy shade here. And I have it in a champagne shade as well. And they're waterproof. They're awesome. They're easy to apply just with your finger. Love them. Then I have a single eyeshadow by Rimmel. It's this iridescent color in a lilac it's just beautiful again as a topper love that one these Clinique shadows I've had for so long very neutral cool tone colors haven't worn them in such a long time but powders last a really long time and since I don't really have many eyeshadows I'm gonna hold on to these and then I have seven Maybelline color tattoos all in gorgeous shades. I love all of them. I'll be holding on to all of them. So we have Too Cool, Bad to the Bronze, which is possibly my all-time favorite. Bold Gold, Ink, Pink, Chocolate Suede, Creamy Beige, and Barely Branded. All stunning colors. And these are my favorite eyeshadows. Drugstore, high-end, whatever. They're just awesome. I love them so much. Shadow draw. So let's move on to lips. So these are my lip products, everything I own in every kind of formula. This is a hand cream that should go in my bag. Okay, so I have a couple of lip balms. I like to keep at my vanity so that when I'm applying my makeup, I just you know, make sure my lips are nice and hydrated. When I'm ready to put on lipstick, my lips are not dry and they're nice and prepped for whatever formula I use. I'll put all my glossy products in here and then we'll work on uh, the matte formulas. This is a lipstick remover which comes in handy when you're trying out different lipsticks and it doesn't leave any stain on your lips. So that's quite handy to have. This is the Revlon Kiss lip balm that I love. My Maybelline Baby Lips 
lip balm that I love. This is a Lancome Juicy Tube. I don't think I've even used this. This is just a hydrating natural lip gloss. I'll hold on to that as well. This is another Lancome Juicy Tube in this gorgeous bright cool toned pink. I absolutely love this in the summertime. It's a gorgeous color. These are my Lancome shakers. I have a juicy formula and a matte formula. This is in New Delhi and this one is in Show Me The Honey. They're just beautiful formulas. They're not very long wearing, so you do need to reapply, but they're so comfortable on the lips. The Juicy formula is more like an oil, so it's very hydrating. It just gives your lips a hint of color. And then the matte formula is also like a slick of oil, but dries down and just leaves a beautiful hint of color on your lips also. They're just great. Great products, I love them. This is a gloss by Maybelline. It's in the shade Unreal. It's a beautiful nude color. It's just a stunning, opaque lip gloss, and it's just a beautiful nude. I love this one. This is a MAC lip gloss in the color Razzle Dazzle. I've had this for so long, but I just love it. I absolutely love this shade. It's beautiful. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Cream Brulee. Such a classic shade, such a beautiful pinky, nudey, glossy color that's not too sticky, just really comfortable on the lips and just a gorgeous shade. This is an e.l.f. lip gloss in a nude color. I think I got this for two bucks and it's possibly the most beautiful nude lip gloss that I've ever tried. I just love it. It's stunning and it's in a natural color. I think that's it for my glosses. I'll put those aside for now. So that leaves me with my matte formulas. These two liquid lipsticks are by Maybelline. They are the Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks and I have the shade Dreamer and Hero. This is a gorgeous, vibrant orangey red which is just the best color to have in a liquid lipstick because you don't want red to be transferable. And this is a beautiful cool toned pink so I love those. I also have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I have two shades, one in London and one in Stockholm, both nude colors. One's a little warmer and one's a little cooler, but both gorgeous. I love this Rimmel Liquid Lipstick in, um, what color was this called? Be My Baby, I think. Yes, that's right, Be My Baby. It's a beautiful nude. This is my Revlon Matte Balm, which I also have the um, lacquer balms, which are a glossy finish, which reminds me, where are they? They must be here. They are. So I have the glossy finish in these balms, which are just so easy to apply in these chubby sticks and they're so hydrating. The formula is beautiful, long wearing. I love the finish in these. One's a pinky nude and one's a brown tone nude and I absolutely love those. So I'll put those in with the glosses. And then I have the matte balm in the shade Enchanted, which is a gorgeous nude color. And these have a minty taste. So if you like mint, you'll like these. As I mentioned, very moisturizing, hydrating, easy to apply, best formulas ever. I have two MAC lipsticks, one in Myth and one in Please Me. So one is a very light colored nude, which is almost like a concealer. I was really into that look at one stage. Please Me is again a cool toned pink, which is beautiful in the summertime. I have a gorgeous red lipstick by Chanel. This color is absolutely stunning. It's incandescent, a very hydrating, beautiful, vibrant red lipstick, but it is transferable, so you have to be careful with it. It's just such a gorgeous color. I absolutely love this lipstick. I have this Burt's Bees nude lipstick in Suede Splash, and I really love the color, although it has gone a little grainy, and I don't know why that is. Maybe I got one that was in a bad batch. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna get rid of this one and go purchase another one. I have this Rimmel Nude Lipstick in 720 Notting Hill Nude. It's a beautiful balmy nude again, just very easy to apply, feels really comfortable on the lips. A gorgeous color, however, I do not like the scent, but great color. This is a MAC lipstick in Huggable. And if I remember correctly, this is so old. It's a glossy formula. It's a beautiful color, a gorgeous peachy nude, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna put that over in the glossy. 
container. This is a liquid lipstick by Chameleon. It's a gorgeous colour but I'm not really a fan of the formula on this one and since I have my beautiful Hero colour over here, I'm going to declutter this one. Another classic nude that I've had for so long by L'Oreal. It's the Colourish Nude and it's just so beautiful. I wore this so much back in the day. I still love it. I still bust it out sometimes. This was a little travel size Marc Jacobs lipstick that I got from Sephora as a freebie. This is definitely not a color that I wear, this berry color. I'm just not into these colors at all, so I'm gonna let this one go. And finally, I have these nudes by Maybelline. They're in a beautiful cream formula. I have the shades Lust for Blood, Daringly Nude, Barely Bare, Beige Babe, Purely Nude, and Honey Beige, and I love them all. I love the formula, I love the way they feel on the lips, they're gorgeous colours, gorgeous nudes. Maybelline are just the bomb when it comes to drugstore makeup, so I'm definitely keeping all of those. So here are all my lipsticks. I have Glossy in one container, Matte in the other, and that's it. And this is the last tray. So in here I have mascaras, some brow products, things of that nature. But here we go. This is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara. Awesome from the drugstore. Almay Thickening Mascara. Another excellent drugstore mascara. Love it. Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Another awesome. Six dollars would you believe for this awesome mascara. Amazing. Cult Classic Maybelline Grey Lash Mascara. Absolutely love that one. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded Mascara. I am not a fan of this one at all. It's new, I bought it. I'm working on a video for drugstore um, mascaras and this one did not make the cut, so I'm gonna get rid of this. This is my beloved Monsieur Big Waterproof Travel Size Mascara and one in the normal so not waterproof. Love those. I have to pick up a full size very soon. This is a backup of my Rimmel Starlit Black Eyeliner and I also have a backup in Blackest Black and Brown. So I'll put those aside for now. This is my Tweezerman Eyelash Curler. I have a couple of sharpeners. This shouldn't be in there. This is my Maybelline V Face Duo Stick. It's a highlighter on one end, a contour on the other, and I absolutely love this product and I will put that in with the highlighters. What's that doing in here? I thought I got rid of this. This is a clear mascara. This did nothing for my brows or my eyelashes, so that's going in the bin. This is my e.l.f brow pencil in brown. I love that. This is my e.l.f. wax pencil for when I'm not in the mood to do much with my brows but want to keep them in place. That's also an awesome product. This is the Sumptuous Extreme Bobby Mascara by Estee Lauder. I did not like this one at all. I'm getting rid of this. It smudges way too much for my liking. These are new eyeshadows. Well, eyeliner slash eyeshadows from Rimmel. A great product. I absolutely love them. I have the shade Slay and the shade My Bay. They are wet. You smudge them out with your finger and then they just stay put all day. They come in various shades and I've picked up a couple just to try out and I absolutely love them. They're so easy to apply. They're stunning on the eyelid. I'll put them in with the eyeshadows. This is my Maybelline Brow Drama, my favorite product of all time. And this is another backup of my Scandalize Bronzy Eyeliner. So I'll put that in my backups. And lastly, a CoverGirl Mascara. This is waterproof. This is awesome. Love it. And that is it for that. So that's brows and eyelashes done. These are all the brushes that I own. I use all of these. I have some by e.l.f., Real Techniques, Echo Tools, Morphe, Mac, 
couple of others in there. That's basically all I own in brushes. I'm happy with all of them, so these don't need any organization at all. These are my lip pencils. I don't have very many because I hardly ever line my lips, and when I do, I stick to my favorite, and that is this one here. It's MAC Subculture. The formula is amazing. It's just a beautiful nude color and I absolutely love it. This Chanel lip liner I bought to go with my incandescent lipstick. It was a pure splurge moment. I mean, two products cost me over a hundred bucks. What was I thinking? But it's in the shade 97. It's a gorgeous red lip pencil and it has a lip brush on the other end. It's pretty bougie, I know. This is a Sephora Lipstick Lip Liner Duo Stick. I don't know why I bought this because I'm not into this color at all. This color doesn't work on me. This pinky tone is just not right, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a Rimmel Lip Pencil in the shade Addiction. It's a nude color, it's a gorgeous formula and it's retractable. It's creamy, not too creamy. It's pretty good for the drugstore. I love that one. Another one I love is this NYX lip pencil in the shade Natural. It's a beautiful, cool tone nude. I really love that as well. Retractable also. These are the Maybelline Color Drama Chubby Stick Crayons. I have a coral color and a nude color and these are more like lipsticks than lip liners, so I'll put them over in my lipsticks container. This lip pencil is by e.l.f. and it's in a natural shade and it's a gorgeous lip liner. It is about $6, incredible value, and it also has a brush on the other end. And finally, a beautiful lip color. It's a pencil, but also a chubby stick, so more of a lipstick by NARS in Biscayne Park, a beautiful bright nude, which I absolutely love so I'll put that in with my lipsticks as well and finally the last thing I have to show you are my eye pencils these are all I own I love wearing eye pencils even as eyeshadow as I've newly discovered so these four are by Rimmel they're duo sticks on one side you have an eyeshadow formula in a pencil and then you have your eyeliner so I have the shades top of the world pink outside the box, Mossy Magic and Bold as Gold. So they are quite beautiful shades. I used up the pink shade, that was my favorite. It was a gorgeous, pretty pink. This one, Top of the World, is a gorgeous taupe color. So creamy, so easy to apply. Blend it out with your finger and you're done. This one, Mossy Magic, was a beautiful khaki olive green. Lastly, the bold as gold was a very subtle bronzy color, I would say. They were all gorgeous and I still use them. I really love this product. I think they're great. Then I have my Rimmel Eye Definers. I have three shades. I have Blackest Black, Starlit Black, and Rich Brown. And these are my go-tos. I wear these every day. They're just so so good, they are waterproof, they don't smudge, they stay on all day, they're just long wearing and I love that they're retractable. They're just awesome eye pencils. So affordable from the drugstore. I have this NYX eye pencil in the shade Purple Violet. This is really pretty. It's very vibrant and metallic. I really love that color on my waterline. I also have just a white eye definer, which is good to brighten the eyes. That's by Max Factor. I've had that for ages. This is a gorgeous eye definer. Purple, but more deeper, more smokier. Just absolutely gorgeous by Rimmel. These are both by MAC and are supposed to be used for the brow. A lilac color and then a soft minty aqua color. And I love to wear these in my inner corner. I think they're just gorgeous pastels that really bring a lot of light to the eye and I love them, they're gorgeous. This is the L'Oreal Super Liner Perfect Slim Black Eye Definer. You can create a perfect winged eye with this. It is so slim, but to be honest, I haven't used this in quite a while. I much prefer to do a soft winged eyeliner with eyeshadow and a brush. This is another NYX pencil and they're waterproof too, which makes them so amazing and long lasting. This one's in the shade Golden Olive. They're really metallic, the NYX pencils. 
as you can see purple one was very metallic and this olive one is very metallic also so you could definitely use these as an eyeshadow this is a Marc Jacobs gel pencil in black I mean it's Marc Jacobs the packaging is adorable it's retractable it is actually a really good formula great pencils this is my Chanel Stilo waterproof eye pencil in the shade Jade. It's absolutely stunning. I love this color so much and I have nothing like it and it's just this gorgeous pop of color in the summertime that really just Oh, I love it on the eye. It's just absolutely stunning. I love this product so much. Then I have my Rimmel Bronzy Eye Definer, which I absolutely love. It's so soft on the eyes. Last but not least, I have a little nubbin of an old Estee Lauder eye pencil in olive that I hardly ever wear and I think is all dried up. So that's going in the bin. Mascaras and brow products, eyeshadows, matte lip products, glossy lip products. Blushes and highlighters, foundations, bronzers, contour and liquid highlighters. So this is the pile that I've decluttered. I will see if my mum wants any of these otherwise I think they will I think I can pass on some of the powders but some of these things need to go in the bin and I'm really happy with how my drawers are looking now I like the bamboo drawer tidies I think they work really well inside the drawers and everything looks neat and tidy and I'm sure I will be using all of these products I'm done I cannot believe I have finished filming. It has taken me all day to film this video. I have answered calls and eaten and drank and tended to my kid, but basically it's taken me all day and I wasn't sure how to film it, how to make it entertaining and give you a good look at everything. It was just, yeah, not the easiest thing to shoot, but I hope it turned out okay. I hope you enjoyed watching it and if you'd like to check out any of my other decluttering videos I will link those down below in the description box.